Hey guys, I am Ankit in this video we shall see another problem in grade code. Partition array into 3 parts with equal sum. So given array of integers, return to if we can partition array into 3 non-empty parts with equal sums. So question says is the given an array of integers and we should check that if we are able to partition the array in, into 3 partitions such that the sums are equal in each partition. So each partition means some of the numbers integers in the each partition should be equal to uh, some of the numbers in other partitions as well. That is what we need to check here. And one more thing is that not to like exactly three. It can there can be more than three partitions with equal uh, number, but minimum three is must. So uh, let's see this example. Okay, if we take the first example, zero plus two plus one, that will give you sum up to. 3 minus 6 plus, plus 6 will be 0 minus 7 plus 9 plus 1 again it will be 8 minus 7 uh, 9 10 minus 7 3 yeah 2 plus 0 plus 1 last three elements 3 so uh, here we are performing the partition of the array we are not taking subsequence from the array right we are not taking 2 1 then 0 from here no you are partitioning the array into three parts here so either this partition can be this also 0 2 1 minus 6 6 and minus 7 9 1 2 0 1 or 0 2 1 minus 6 6 minus 7 9 1 2 0 1. So you are partitioning the array into three parts and we are not performing the subsequence. Subsequence in the sense we are picking out some elements in the rate order. No we are not finding that. So we are just partitioning the array into equal parts minimum three equal parts such that the sum of the numbers in each partition should be equal. So how do we solve the problem? So one thing is they have told we have to partition the array into three equal parts and sum of the numbers in equal each part should be equal. That means if we find the sum of the entire array, if we find the sum of the entire array, then that sum divided by three, if it is divisible by three, only then we can partition the array into three parts. That is for sure, right? So what we'll do is at first, if they're given an array, let's say, with the given array, first what we'll find is we'll find a total sum. Total sum. So in this case, total sum will be 0 plus 2 plus 1, 3, minus 6, plus 6 will be 0, minus 7, 3 minus 7, minus 4, plus 9. So 9 minus 4 it will be, so 5 plus 1, 6, 7, 8, 9. So total sum what we get here is 9. So is this 9 is divisible by 3? 9 by 3? Is it equal to 0? Is the remainder is 0? If the remainder is 0, yes. That means if it is divisible by 3, then only we can confirm that we can do the partition in the array into 3 equal parts. Otherwise, we cannot perform. So, if we take the next example, uh, let's say this example, okay, here same thing 0 minus 0 minus 7, 9, 1, 2, 0, 1. So, if we do the addition of the elements in this case, so 3 minus 6 plus 6 will get cancelled. 3, 7 plus 3, 10, 19, minus 1, 18, 19, 20. So we get the sum of 21. So 21 by 3 means it's divisible by 3. But the question says is we have to partition the array into 3 parts. Uh, initially I had told minimum 3 or more than that also. But more than 3 when it happens I'll, I'll uh, uh, tell that case at the end. Now we assume that we have to partition the array into 3. But more than 3 comes in what if the element in the array is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So in this case you can partition these two, this, this. Right, so if the total sum becomes 0 and count can be greater than equal to 3, yes, in that case, you can say this is partition. But in the second example, if we see it is divisible by 3, 71 by 3 will you get the uh, 7 partitions are possible with 3 elements in that. But can you divide it into 3 partitions? No, that is not possible, that is why we return false here. So, I said in the beginning, like there can be more than three partitions also. That would be this case, explicit case, where total sum is zero. So, if we have minus one, one, minus one, one, in this case, total sum is zero. But if you see the number of partitions, only two we are formed. So, in this case, you return false, which is not greater than or equal to three. So, but here, if you see total sum is zero and count can be greater than or equal to three also, because this one partition, this one partition, this one partition, this one partition possible. Or these two, this, 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 three partitions possible. So in this case, count will be greater than three. Uh, here you find zero, total sum equal to zero. Here again you find zero, total sum is zero equal to zero. 
zero zero matching. So four participants you get it, which is greater than three. So in this case you return two. But if you have non-zero total sum, then in such case only three participants should be able to do it, not more than that. So in this case you return four. Similarly, uh, last example also. So first you find the total sum that is nine. Is nine divided by three? Yes, it is. There are if nine is divided by three. Yes, we can do it. And if twenty one is also divisible by three, there are chance we can uh, get the partition of three. But that depends on the elements. In the array. if there are consecutive zeros, like let's say we have two one, okay, then zero 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 again two one here zero two one. So in such case, we will get the answer. No? So it depends. If it is divisible by three, yes, there is a chance of uh, getting the partition. Uh, it need not be like 21 by 3 will be quotient we get a 7 7 partition no there are chances we get the partition of uh, three partitions of equal sum so it depends on the elements in the array so for that we have to check once you get uh, that word is divisible first we need to check so in this case total sum is 9 so next target sum will be nothing but 9 by 3 that is 3 this is the target sum which we are looking because we are dividing into three partitions. No? So if we have 21, 21 by 3 equal to 7. So we are looking three partitions with 7, 7, 7 as the sum. In the second example. So if we get 7, 7, 7 as a sum by partitioning the array into three parts, then yeah, there can be chance. In the first example, 3, 3, 3 which we are looking. So total sum by 3. Whatever it is, that will be the target sum. So let's keep a variable called current sum initialized to zero. We start iterating. So what is the current sum now? Current sum is zero. Zero plus zero will be zero again. Zero plus two will be two updated to two. Then zero plus uh, okay, one plus two will be three. So in the, now we can see current sum is equal to target sum. Hence one partition we have obtained here. Okay. Since we are partitioning the array, we need not to check for the random elements in the array. It will be the continuous element, continuous elements. So, once you found one partition, current sum equal to the sum. Let's have a variable called count, increment the count value by 1, and current sum will be initialized to 0. So, next element, start again, minus 6. The current sum will be minus 6, because 0 plus minus 6 will be minus 6. Again, minus 6 plus 6 will be 0 again. Now, it's not equal to 3. Then, you get minus 7. So this will look update to minus 7. Then again, 9 so minus 7 plus 9 will be 2, which is not equal to target sum. Again, you move high. So plus 1 will be 3. Now current sum equal to target sum. Yes. Another one partition you can do. So count will be incremented to and current sum will reinitialize to 0. Again, you find here to update current sum to 2. It's not equal to target sum 0. It will remain as such. 1 update current sum by 3. So 3 equal to 3, yes, one more partition we have. So total 1, 2, 3 partitions, count will be incremented to 3, current sum will be initialized to 0, yes, we are at the end of the loop. Hence, we have found that we have found 3 partitions of equal sum, which, what is the sum here? 3 here. But if, if you uh, take the next example, same thing, next example, let's try out with this also. So if you take this example now, So in this case, sum was 21. So 21 by 3 will be 7. Target sum was 7 here. So let's say current sum initialized to 0 and count also initialized to 0. We should get count equal to 3 here. So you start here, 0, current sum will be 0 only. 2 you found, okay, increment to 2. Again you found 1. So 3 increment to 3 plus 1. Then minus 6 means 3 minus 6 will be minus 3. Plus 6 you do. So minus 3 plus 6 will be 3 again which is not equal to target sum yet, plus 7 you get, so this will be get incremented to 7, uh, 7 plus 3, 10, which is more than target sum you have found, Th then you found 9 here, that will be 19, minus 1 will be 18, then minus plus 2 will be 21, uh, sorry, uh, minus, okay, 18, right, 18 plus 2, 20, then you will class 21. So nowhere you are getting it equal to target sum. Here you can find one partition. But this only one partition. The remaining elements whichever there previous ones, previous ones will not be equal to 7, right? So that is why. If you find a partition, you start from the beginning. One partition, another one, another partition. So in a continuous manner you will be getting because you are dividing the array into partitions. You are not picking up some elements and finding the sum here. 
you're not picking this two this one and this here no you're not doing that continuous elements which you're looking at means you're partitioning the array into three parts here it is not possible because nobody are getting currents in the both tabs some count is zero here it's not equal to three so you return false so this is the logic so let's define the variable first okay total sum initialize it to zero so for each number in the array so total sum plus equals to number okay if first you have to check whether total sum modulus 3 is equal to equal to 0 only then you can do the partition if it is not equal to 0 means you cannot partition the array into three partitions other so test sums are equal now so in this case you directly return for so you know to check only if it is if the modulus is equal to 0 that last case there is there is a possibility that you can partition the array into three partitions of equal size equal sum so if that is the case so again in the array before to that we have to initialize variable current sum and let's have a variable count so uh, first what we need to do is current sum plus equals to num so if in case current sum and we have to find write the target sum also but that will be nothing but total sum by 3 it will be see only if the remainder is 0 then only you divide it by 3 otherwise you won't so if current sum equal to equal to target sum that means count should be incremented and whatever current sum you have the initialized to 0 so at the end you have to return if count is equal to equal to 3 or uh, there is a possibility total sum equal to 0 and count can be greater than equal to 3 in that case. So, say count equal to equal to 3 or total sum equal to equal to 0 and count greater than equal to 3. Because when you have the elements with 0, 0, 0, 0, right? Target, uh, total sum will be 0. So total sum means target sum will also be 0 by 3 will be 0 again. So when you find the current sum, here you find 0 which is equal to target sum, count will be 1. For this again equal to target sum, count will be 2. Again equal to target sum, count will be 3. Again equal to target sum, count will be 4. So if count greater than equal to 3. So this let it be inside one more bracket. Yeah. So we can run this and check. Total, yeah, yes. So, same logic applies to Java also. Directly, can give greater equal to it will not create a problem. Yeah, so we shall submit this also. Yes, successfully submitted. If you understood the concept, please please do like the button, subscribe to the channel. We'll come up with another video in the next session. Until then, keep learning. Thank you.